All right, I just wanted to talk really quick on the edge treatment of something like a sheath or a holster, something that has a really big beefy edge like this, vegetable tanned. I always feel like each product requires different treatment. Like our wallets look really good with just a slick coat of edge paint. However, I wouldn't do edge paint on something that has a big beefy edge like this. So on these two sheaths, they look quite a bit different, but it's actually a very similar treatment. This one, I just took a little foam brush and wet the edges down and then slicked it on my MP burnisher. It's a really fast method. I can get it done really quick and I always get good results. And then for the last step, I always take some beeswax and uh, rub it on the burnishing wheel and then just do another slick down. And it just gets a really nice kind of sealed, glossy finished look to it. This one is very similar. I wet it down, slicked it first, and then I took some Feebing's Pro dye and put it in this refillable marker. I'll have a link for this marker down in the description. And I just applied a couple coats around the edge with that and then slicked it again and then did the same thing with the beeswax. This one just has a really dark contrasted edge. And this one's a little bit more of a natural color to kind of match the color of the top green. So it really just comes down to preference. For production's sake, I'm gonna be doing all of our sheets like this with just the natural color. It's a much faster process. Uh, that's the only downfall with this dye is you usually have to do a couple coats for it to really take after you've slicked it. Um, I just feel like this is a much better way to go. It's faster. You get the same results as far as the burnish goes. It just, the color's not so dark. So the steps I usually take when I'm burnishing an edge is to take a foam paintbrush or you could do a rag or just your finger and get the edge of it wet first. Take a wood slicker like this and slick it down and then follow it up with a canvas cloth like this. And this is the real magic ingredient because that just always gets it really glassy and smooth. If you have a Dremel tool or a bench slicker like the MP burnisher, um, then you can get much faster results. And it's a lot more convenient if you've got a whole batch of these things you wanna make. You know, you could spend hours just doing it by hand. So the bench slicker speeds it up a lot, but it's not necessary. In fact, you might even get better results just by doing it by hand. And after I've got it nice and slicked down and glassy, I always like to follow it up with some beeswax. You can always just apply it right onto the edge and then slick it down again or you can put the beeswax right onto the burnishing wheel, which is what I usually do, and then I just slick it again really fast. You don't wanna to put too much wax on it because it can cake up and get kind of nasty. Um, just a light coat will do a really good job of sealing it and uh, making it stay for a long time. So that's it. With just a canvas cloth, a hand wood slicker, and some water, you can get beautiful results on any vegetable tanned edge. There are a lot more products and techniques that you can explore though. This isn't verbatim. You can always try out using some gum tragacanth as a slicking agent instead of water, or tokenol, or saddle soap. Those can be really helpful if you're trying not to darken the edge because it keeps the edge from heating up too much when you're burnishing. But I'm always really impressed with the results I can get with just water. So anyway, that's it. If you haven't seen it yet, click on the link down below in the description and go check out the online course that Wit and Thomas and I built um, to help people start selling their leather work. There was a lot of mistakes I made in the beginning um, trying to make this a business and I just wanted to help save some people some time and money. And it's been awesome. We've had, we have a few hundred students already. We have a private Facebook group with everyone who's enrolled and we have some awesome conversations over there. And it's really helpful if you plan on uh, trying to make some side money or you'd like to one day quit your nine to five for this, then I would definitely encourage you to check it out. Also check out our new t-shirts that are down below the video player. You might wanna go pick one up. You might have better luck with the ladies. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.